Here are three things you need to know and one you don't. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Two planes carrying American cruise ship passengers from Japan landed in the U.S. this morning after being quarantined on board the Diamond Princess since February 5th. Nearly 500 passengers on the ship have the coronavirus. 99 of those cases were announced on the cruise ship earlier today. Now, even though the American passengers are back in the country, they won't be able to head home quite yet. They'll now be entering another 14-day quarantine. Hartford Mayor Luke Bronin says illegal guns were involved in shootings that took place at a nightclub over the weekend in the city's south end. A 28-year-old man was shot and killed early Sunday morning at the Majestic Lounge on Franklin Avenue. Four others were also shot. No suspects are in custody yet. And state police need your help in finding a car that was involved in a serious crash in 91 Northbound last night. This happened in North Haven right around 8.30 between exits 8 and 9. Police say an older green Toyota Corolla was involved in the crash and took off, and it may resemble the car in this picture. It's believed the right taillight could be missing. And here's the one thing you don't need to know about this morning. 30 degrees in Syracuse? Eva, you remember those days, don't you? I when it was 30 on February 17th? I don't remember those days all I remember, because it never was. All I remember degrees. was a shovel. <laughs> That's all we had was a shovel and a glass of milk. And those big parkas. And those big parkas. And we had to go to school up ways, uphill both, both, ways. both uphill mm -hmm, both ways, mm -hmm. back to, uh, from school to school. <laughs> uh, so but you can see it's pretty lovely out there this morning. Did you go to school in 1904? Uh, 1900. <laughs> um, mostly. Scott and Eva bonding over their Syracuse orange. That's three things you need to know and one you don't. I'm Nicole Nalepa and we'll see you on TV.